Yeah, I mean, I, I think we should maybe talk a little bit about the about the common uh, psychological uh, uh, reasons or or I don't know flaws that lead to bad lovers in general. Yeah, yeah. Can we sure. talk about that. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, well, I would say first off, the two biggest problems, like psychological, stems from the fact that no guys ever taught this stuff, man. They just don't have a clue. Like. Nobody like your mom doesn't know your dad doesn't sit you down and say, look, this is how you stimulate a clitoris, son. <laughs> <laughs> your dad didn't show you that. <laughs> what did you do on your 10th birthday, dude? <laughs> and then, right. and then talk. no, we don't get taught. And then the other problem is, um, a lot of the only way guys do get taught is they watch porn and every guy's watching porn from, I don't know, 12, 11, six, maybe seven. even 10 years old. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, maybe they like, if you got, if you're a little kid with a phone, you never know, do you? Like, Great point. you don't know what they're looking up now. Um, uh, and, and I mean, the stuff you're learning in porn is like, it couldn't be, if you want to, if you really want to satisfy a woman and you want her to really want to continue rolling in the sheets with you, then mm. the last thing you want to do is copy what you see in porn. <laughs> if you watch porn, you think like you want to smash into the bedroom, take a running jump, land in a pussy and pound her as hard as you can for like 30 minutes straight in every different position you can imagine. Like, you know, yes. <laughs> and it couldn't be further from the truth yeah so wow. um yeah 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 i mean i have no idea what level i'm coming at with your audience you know what i mean um like i would say if you if you took someone who a guy who really didn't have a clue then you would start by saying don't focus on the sex it's much more difficult to bring a woman to orgasm through sex you're much better off focusing on um, her clitoris and they're stimulating that with either your finger or your tongue because you can make almost every woman orgasm every single time through stimulation of her clit and you should make every woman orgasm every single time you should you should be bringing her to orgasm every time and then having sex but maybe your maybe your audience knows that and then if they if they oh, were no. already aware of that what I would suggest the next step is that the other big mistake that guys make is they're, they're rushing every step. So mm. they're rushing to take their woman's clothes off. They're, 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 ru they're rushing to get her into the bedroom in the first place. They're, they're rushing to kiss her. They're rushing to get her clothes off. They're rushing to get a lingerie off. They're rushing to get to a clit. Then they're rushing to bring her to, a, to an orgasm. And then as soon as she's had an orgasm, they're rushing to get their dick in just so that they can add another notch to their bedpost and say that they, they did actually bang her. And, um, but the truth is every one of those steps that I just mentioned, the more you stretch out every single one of those things, the, the better she, she's never going to have experienced anything like it. You know, if you stretch each of those things out by at least 20 minutes, She's going to be wondering what hit her. She's going to come harder than she's ever come in her life. Yeah. I remember you yeah. gave me this advice actually years ago. This is one of the those early tips that you share with yeah. me that cha changed the game, like yeah, slowing yeah. everything down. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, I mean, that's very practical stuff. And do you think that there's, is there any kind of uh, overarching archetypes of bad lovers? Like, of you know, that lovers. kind of, Mm. Yeah, kind of, uh, or good lovers, but kind of, I'm trying to get at the, what the mentality is beforehand that they, in their mind, sort of. The two, I would say the two, the two biggest um, phrases, archetypes, I don't know how, how you want to put it in your mind, is uh, teasing, te the teaser, teasing, and um, being a dominant man. And... Uh, you want to add teasing to the more ways you can tie in teasing into sex, the better you are. It's all about teasing. You can, 
you know, a lot of great sex happens before you even get into the bedroom because you want to be building up and through teasing, you build up that tension. So you want to be building up that tension all the time. Mm. And then the other thing is to be the dominant man. And, and I don't mean when I say that you could get the wrong idea and think, I mean, going domineering. Crazy. Yeah. And 50 Big. shades of gray immediately uh, as soon as you get into bed with a woman. And that's not what I mean at all. But a dominant man is the most common fantasy of a woman to different scales. But a lot more have the more, even more, uh, if you've got slightly dominant over here and 50 shades here and then really extreme stuff over here, then um, you, women are way more on average over in this direction than you, would, than you would guess. But you have to be careful the way you introduce it. Oh, yeah. Um, so I would, so I, what I would say is you always, here's what I like to say is that um, when it comes to the bedroom, you can you can be too soft and too slow and you can be um, too fast and too aggressive but if you start off too soft and too slow you can always amp it up a bit and become uh, more aggressive and more uh, and, sp and and speed it up but if you start off too fast and too aggressive you can very easily m mess things up in an irreparable way and, and ruin your chances with the woman. So it's always better to start off on the lighter side and then very, very gently ease into that direction. Mm. And with the dominant stuff, like, yeah, like I said, there is 50 shades of gray, but when I say it on, on the lighter side where you want to begin, I basically mean a man who leads, a man who takes charge. And um, like uh, a metaphor I like to use is like tango dancing or salsa dancing. And when you watch that, if you watch a good tango dance or a good salsa dance, the man is not throwing the woman around, but he is leading. He is, he's it's subtle her. movements. It's subtle movements. Yeah. Yeah. He's directing her and she's following him. And that is the beginning of dominance. You're not forcing anyone to do anything. You're just leading the way and they are coming with you. If they don't want to come with you, then they don't come with you. But if you if you do it correctly, then more than likely will come with you and appreciate it a lot. Mm. See, this is kind of what, the, what I was coping with to get to because it feels like we're at peak pussification of men yeah, that yeah, I've yeah, ever yeah, seen. Yeah, like yeah, there are yeah, so yeah. many men who are just absolute pussies. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, mom, uh, but look, this is what <laughs> it is, and yeah, it's look. On one hand, I think it's funny because now I'm out of that. Uh, category yeah. didn't used to be yeah. but now that i'm out i'm yeah. like haha thank fuck i'm out of that yeah, zone yeah, 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 yeah. but also i worked fucking hard for it and i'm just yeah. like if, if i see someone who's that in that peak pussification as a man and they're just they don't lead they don't have their own opinions they don't think for themselves they don't say what they believe or think they don't say what they want they don't they're just this shell of a human like that person is likely not going to be a great lover in bed, probably not going to be very almost definitely not. to lead. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's probably, so if you can kind of have that understanding well, I like, already. But yeah. So it's like, and it's like, if you are that guy, what the hell do you do? Because you don't have the confidence to you don't have the confidence to take that leap. You don't have the confidence to lead the way. So what the hell do you do? Thank you, uh, Mr. Alex Walton. You, you got it for me, buddy.